Hey there, Alienated Dads Network. It's your guy, Jason Amphiard, also known as the Apple Watson, here to bring you some real talk and some heartfelt connection in our journey as Alienated Dads. From navigating the highs and lows to finding strength and solidarity, our community is a place of understanding and support. So grab a seat, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the space where we stand strong together. Let's roll the tape. Just a thought, just a crazy thought. Now, do you ever get that eerie feeling that someone is constantly observing your every move? If you find yourself in a relationship with a narcissistic individual, that sense of paranoia may not be baseless. Narcissists possess a distinctive skill set when it comes to spying and encroaching on your privacy. With the continuous evolution of technology, they now have a wide array of tools at their disposal to monitor and manipulate your life. In this discussion, we will delve into eight methods through which narcissists spy on you using technology and explore strategies to safeguard yourself from their invasive behaviours. Surveillance cameras and home monitoring. Narcissists often set up cameras disguised as home security devices, but in truth, they use them to spy on you. These cameras grant them the ability to keep tabs on your activities, even in their absence. It's imperative to identify this breach of privacy and take necessary steps to protect yourself. A countermeasure that you could do is if you suspect surveillance conduct, a thorough sweep of your living space in hidden cameras for hidden cameras. Seek professional assistance if they requ if required. Additionally, establish boundaries and affirm your right to privacy within your own home. I've come across many people who use CCTV, I tell you. Most of them are men as well. Technology and phone surveillance. Now, narcissists may utilise various applications and software to monitor your phone usage. They closely monitor your interactions, searching for any signs of disloyalty or infidelity. They might even breach your social media accounts, changing your passwords without your consent. Countermeasure, stay vigilant, be by routinely checking your devices for suspicious activities or unauthorised access. Use robust, unique passwords to enable two-factor authentication where possible. If you suspect a breach, promptly change your passwords. Common sense, but still change your passwords. The next one, number three, is exploitation of friends and family. Narcissists often manipulate your loved ones into aiding their spying efforts by turning friends and family members into unwitting informants. They gather personal information about you and pass it on without even due course or second thought. The countermeasure is educate your inner circle about narcissistic behaviour and possible manipulation tactics. Foster a open communication and trust among your closest friends and family. By raising awareness, you can diminish the narcissist's influence over your support support system. Social media monitoring. Now, this is a big one. <clears throat> narcissists frequently surveil your social media presence to maintain control over your public image and personal interactions. They may even create a fake account to test your loyalty to provoke reactions. These people really are screwed up in the head. They will go out of their way to ruin your day and ruin your life. A countermeasure for this is to routinely review your social media privacy settings and restrict access to personal details. Exercise caution when accepting friend requests or engaging an unknown account. Stay attentive to any attempts to manipulate your online presence. Be alert. Stay vigilant. Now, the next one is tracking devices and location monitoring. There are plenty of apps that do this. And if a narcissistic partner gains access to your phone or vehicle, they may well employ GPS trackers to monitor your movements. This not only fulfills their need for control, but also enables in an intervention or manipulation by contacting you during social interactions. A countermeasure for this is to watch for unusual battery drain drainage, as if you're really going to notice that. But look, look, look out for really unusual battery drainage for or suspicious applications on your phone. Regularly inspect your vehicle for potential tracking devices. Discuss boundaries with your partner and affirm your right to privacy and independence. All seems very logical. All seems very fair. But when you say start setting up boundaries with your partner, if they're narcissistic, they won't like it. Number six, online surveillance and searches. Now, this is very, very, very bizarre. Narcissists often conduct 
extensive online searches to gather information about you, including past relationships and social media activity. This knowledge empowers them with a sense of control to exploit and manipulate you in conflicts. They will throw this baggage at you as if it's like happened yesterday, as if you're not allowed to have a history. A countermeasure for this is to exercise this question when sharing personal information online. Review your social media privacy settings and regularly regularly and limit the visibility of personal details. Be mindful of your online activities and their potential impact on your relationships. Now, this might seem very counterintuitive, but it's all very as well. It's what's needed. Invasion of messages and call logs. Now, narcissists will access with access to your smartphone may intrude on your privacy by scrutinizing your messages and call logs. This invasion is often driven by their insecurities and fear of being replaced. A countermeasure safeguard your device with strong passwords or biometric um, authentication. If you suspect privacy violations, openly address your concerns with your partner. Seek assistance from licensed therapists or a McKenzie friend like me who's a trained counsellor. Just a thought. But um, I think we've got one more. No, I've got one more. One more. So we're going to go one more and we're going to delve deep for this. It's going to be the manipulating of male and stalking behaviour. This is deep and dark. In extreme cases, narcissists may attempt to access your mail by engaging in classic stalking behaviours. They might install hidden cameras in mailboxes or utilise other methods to intercept or control your correspondence. As a countermeasure, secure your mailbox with dual-sided locks to prevent unauthorised access. Document any suspicious activities related to mail and um, any hidden cameras. Report to the police or legal authorities if necessary. These are severe breaches of privacy and if you're taking a narcissist and if you're in a relationship with someone who's doing any of these things, you need to be really alert because that's a massive, massive red flag. I think in conclusion, living with a narcissistic partner who spies on you using technology can only be like painful, it's emotionally draining and suffocating. Recognising the signs of control and manipulation is pivotal to your well-being and personal growth. Take my advice and proactive measures to protect yourself. Establish firm boundaries and surround yourself with support to make sure that you can um, reach out to people who comprehend and understand exactly what you're going through. Always prioritise your safety and happiness. And remember that seeking professional assistance may be crucial in navigating the intricate dynamics of a relationship with a narcissist. Peace and love. Peace and love. Lila's glove.